Doc, um, a 10 0 start, um, win the game wire to wire. I, I don't think that's happened yet this season. Um, just, I guess, what is that? I, I know they, they cut it to six late, yeah. but what, what does that say, I guess, to a degree where, I mean, is that kind of another step forward? Yeah, just team? another step forward. I mean, they're an excellent offensive team. I thought our defense was phenomenal tonight. Uh, we turned the ball over, got a little, you know, showtime at the Apollo for about five minutes, you know, and then we caught ourselves. But um, loved our defensive effort. You know, it's amazing. Dre had zero points, and he had probably one of the biggest impacts in the game, just defending, defending Halliburton for most of the game, making little plays. Um, I thought TP, I just thought defensively all of us, they were locked in. That's the the most locked in that I've seen us defensively uh, in a half. That first half was was unbelievable to watch. Um, I guess I, along those lines, I mean, the switching, even with Bobby on Halliburton, that was a matchup they hunted quite a bit last yeah. year. Um, even when Brooke was out there, um, just, yeah, I guess, what did you see from your Brooke. bigs? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Brooke knew I was, I was running hot because – we we worked on them and they were they and Brooke and Bobby were great on it. Uh, our thought was get up on his uh, right side, and make him channel, him. like go ahead, go right in there, and that's what we kept doing, make taking them off the three point line, you know, driving trying to make baskets over Giannis, Brooke, and Bobby. That's hard, you know. Um, and I thought we did a great job of that. I thought we channeled them to the basket a lot uh, into traffic. Um, I, I guess. Just for you, speaking to Brooke in that regard, <clears throat> Halburn tries to step back three and then force the foul. Just can you speak to maybe the discipline from those two? Yeah, specifically? yeah. Just yeah, but a big is tough, and you know you've been taught all your life to guard square. Where I, I've never believed that. I, I think that's the worst thing to do against a great offensive player because he can go either way and he has you. Uh, we, we say get up on one side and take it and use the shooting hand side uh, and force him to put the ball on the floor. If he can shoot a three with you next to his shooting hand, then we got we got major issues. Um, and I think our guys did a hell of a job the entire night. I thought we did that. I thought we just channeled them off that line, uh, stayed physical, um, you know. And then one time he got up in the air and you know uh, we stayed down. Uh, that's just good stuff. Um, it felt like offensively the times that you guys struggled tonight, that zone that they're running, I know that's a unique zone uh, that they kind of do. We like the zone, uh, but they ran it when we had a small lineup and uh, guys didn't know where to go, just being honest. Um, and we didn't we didn't execute it very well. Then when they did it again in the second half, we picked it apart, So, uh, or later in the second half. So uh, that won't be a concern. I thought our zone defense had some, some minutes too that was really good. Um, I, I, you spoke to the Showtime Bucks there for a second, um, <laughs> yeah, but that. but just for you, for them to, I guess, in some ways, catch themselves and then yeah. rediscipline themselves, yeah. is that like a step forward from last yeah, year? Yeah, I just thought the step forward was all game. I thought we we came in with the um, with just great focus, you know, and, and we lost it for a minute, um, and that's okay, you know. Um, you know, it's funny when you know it's Bobby. I give Bobby credit because when Dre goes behind his back and turning, and Bobby was on the scoring table, right? He said, "No, Coach, don't say nothing." He was like yelling, mean, "Don't yell!" And and I got why. Like the guy, let him let him have a moment, you know. So uh, the, the guys are pulling for each other. It's it's really nice to see. Twenty three assists tonight between Dame and Giannis. Yeah. How does that transform things for you guys when you've got star scores? Oh man, like that? It, when you have your scores passing. It's hard. It's hard to stop you. Um, I thought Dame did a great job and Giannis getting in the paint, and this is all we keep preaching. Get to the paint and decide. Get to the paint and decide. Uh, and they're both doing a great job of that for us. And, you know, with our shooting, you know, um, we can make, they can make a living off of that, and they're doing it. I was just curious, how important is it to the identity of this team's offense to have – the guy's clicking from three-point range. It's huge. It's huge. I mean, think if we get to the paint and decide and we can't make a three, then it gets you nothing. But with A.J. Green and, and Gary and, and T.P. Uh, and Brooke and Bobby we have so, and Dame, we have so many guys that can shoot threes and shoot them at a high clip that every time we get to the paint, it forces the defense to either don't help and give us a layup or help and give us a three. And, and so it's been great to see the ball moving around. Um, back in, and I know Memphis might have been weird for a lot of reasons, but after that game, Damon said, you know, when my shot's not falling, I'm, 
I'm figuring out how to either get myself going or, or, or where else to go. I, it feels like even though his maybe a shot hasn't come back yet from the concussion, he's had three straight double-doubles. That's it. Yeah. And that's what we keep preaching. Like, in Portland, he had to score. Here, if they're trying to take your scoring away, then it's going to create points for someone else. And, and you can't worry about if, if you have a 16-point night and an 18-assist night. Uh, that's still scoring. And I think Dame is really seeing that now. Uh, I thought he did a great day. They tried to trap him and channel him today. And he just drove to pass. Um, and that's something he wasn't doing early in the year. Uh, and it's, it's just great growth. Um, I, I know when Gary signed, I'm sure he expected to start and, and be that starting shooting guy for you guys. But what does he kind of meant to you off the bench? It feels like this is five or six games in a row where he's really scoring playing confidently off he's the bench. It's been huge. I mean, we, we've avoided any thought of, you know, like he's very comfortable in his role now. And, you know, that's where he's been a lot. Uh, and so maybe we overthought that. Um, you know, but, you know, I think it was the two games ago, uh, they were helping off a of Dre and, and we needed to start someone. <laughs> and we were like, well, we're not going to start Gary. Like, you know, we, we have to start because we like his role and it's been great for us. So, um, and I'm just happy for him, as I've told you guys, with the shots that he takes and works. It's really good to see him play with confidence. Guys, you can ask me questions tomorrow. I'll see you. I'll see you then. All right. <laughs>